This is my office. Come in. Well, I'm a psychologist and I'm super specialized in this group of mental disorders that we call obsessive compulsive and related disorders. So, so this is where I spend most of my time. Research is a very slow, painful, frustrating process and you know, you submit a paper, it gets rejected, you need to try again, submit it elsewhere. It's getting very tricky. <laughs> and then you just have to move on, it's part of the business. No point in getting frustrated. I suppose it could be a metaphor of, uh, of that, you know, everything is uh, in a delicate balance. And most often than not, it collapses. <laughs> Some of our work um, has been around um, uh, brain abnormalities in obsessive compulsive disorder. We don't really know what causes these abnormalities. And that's the really interesting stuff. This is where, where we need to get at. This is our team book and it, it kind of symbolizes what we do. So we, we quite arty people, but at the same time we study obsessive compulsive disorder. For example, there's a Christmas tree they constructed into its basic elements. I don't know whether he has OCD, but uh, he, if he does, he definitely uses it to very good effect. Can you just indicate things where I thought the confidence intervals were quite wide, so I'm not sure if we're getting... Uh, so we knew, for example, that people with autism um, tend to get together with people with other people with autism, but we didn't know that they were so widespread. We have just recruited the, the clinicians, uh, but when we start seeing the, uh, the families, I'm sure this will, be, this will be great for some of the kids who might be anxious in the first appointment. And uh, so we can break the ice by doing things like this. Ah. Ah.